development that we look for towards development for all equally if i am elected i i am there in the field as a struggler i definitely support modi congress has already given a five uh, guarantee schemes and they are using it none of us have ever claimed these titles of kings or rajas or any such thing when he himself has said don't call me maharaja don't call me your raja it is we public who are calling him like that city of karnataka mysore is going to witness a high voltage battle as bjp fielded the king of mysore yadavir krishnadatta chamaraja wadaya to take against congress coincidentally it is also the home turf of congress king siddaramaiah and it is a battle of prestige for siddaramaiah to win mysore and it is a bastion of bjp since 1998 and they are quite confident by fielding maharaja they are going to retain the mysore city sir king of mysore yaduvir has been announced and if you if you notice when it comes to mysore and kodagu region when it comes to the king of mysore is is the talk of the town every household knows the name how difficult it is going to be this particular battle for you in mysore kodagu constant no no i am not uh, really understanding the kingdom was gone in 1947 itself you know it has become republic state republic of india who is worrying about king queen all those things are not there that kingdom that king you know is being uh, projected only during dasara festival living that you know he is he is a only a common man and moreover uh, the present bjp candidate is not from king uh, uh, genetic he is uh, here that is he has taken he, he, what what do you call we call uh, it as dattuputra dattuputra is not the uh, genes from maharaja so let him be the whether is from maharaja is from, from a king or anybody else so we are looking at bjp candidate and people are looking at congress candidate that's all there is no such uh, emotional uh, feelings with the general public well, i agree with his one statement that you know we are not maharajas or any such thing we have uh, very much in line in that statement we are all one in front of the law and in front of the constitution second to that i think it's a good move we must be criticizing each other's uh, ideologies or each other's uh, means of development or the work which we have done uh, in either case they might seem something is unsatisfactory on our end we might think something of theirs is unsatisfactory criticisms in those line are uh, well and good and must be encouraged because that is part of the process of democracy we can stay away from personal attacks i think that bodes well for a good uh, future earlier uh, shrikandadatta wadiya was not his original father so he contested uh, from congress party four times and he won all the four times he contested be, uh, on bjp ticket and he lost two to twice he lost both the time here all all of them in all community respective of religion all of them you know were going together dasra means everybody used to participate that is the beauty of ramza yes district, sir. that beauty was completely spoiled because of the last mp pratap simha our uh, sitting mp has done wonderful work here and he has uh, uh, of course his own views and his own opinions about certain things uh, we have our styles in the which way we will do our work but uh, we will be i think uh, showing our colors when the time is right and uh, see what uh, when when the challenges that face us we will take the right decisions and we stand by what is right so bjp has won uh, 2019 elections only because of uh, surgical strike fake surgical strike and that is not and going fake, to work this time you know they they're fake pulwama uh -huh. all those things you know they brought emotional issues and they democratic process that is there in order to work alongside that we have to work within that framework and uh, to get authority to implement changes via policy or via rule or even bringing development according to your own vision you need to have authority and authority comes by the people's mandate and uh, that is done by the electioneering process so we are uh, enjoying the process and enjoying uh, having people uh, believe our vision for this constituency and believe in the prime minister's vision for the nation and uh, it has uh, been thoroughly a delightful process so far see if i am elected i i am there in the field as a struggler mm -hmm. I, i i as a fighter for the last 30 years 
without power, without constitutional power, you know, I have been working for the people. I am, I am from technical background. I have some vision. I have some technical knowledge. So with this, you know, definitely we will be able to improve tourism so that, you know, you will be able to get uh, jobs directly or indirect jobs, lakhs together. In addition to that, we have, this place is very beautiful and it's uh, uh, fittest place for IT sector's improvement. We have a largest uh, training centers uh, owned by Infosys. Kodugu has a particular affinity for uh, environment, for the Prakriti, for nature and they would like a concern there as well being kept in all development works. MISO is particularly keen about its heritage and its built heritage. Both areas require all tourism aspects as well as a big driver of the economy here. So that has to be organically developed so that it, in Kodugu's case, doesn't harm the environment and the nature and in MISO's case, doesn't harm the heritage of the city. Uh, alongside that, both are dependent on agriculture. Kurg, of course, famously for its coffee. MISO for its rice, ragi and cotton. These have to be given the appropriate uh, nudges in the right places so that uh, farmers' incomes are increased and they are given the right uh, uh, sort of encouragement to continue growing these uh, heritage crops that they have in both districts. There is also the feature of industry in MISO, which has give, given a big uh, push over the last 10 years but needs further pushing in order for it to really become a consistent economic driver in MISO. And the last aspect important to the MISO region is IT, of course. Uh, that will be given, of course, a huge push in being a supporting pillar to Bangalore. Guarantee schemes are 100% successful. We will be able to win more than 22 seats in Karnataka only because of our developmental activities and guarantee schemes which we have reached to everybody. Yes, uh, certainly, certainly it's been a hot summer. And uh, I think the heat of the summer will uh, get to us all and only the strongest will survive at the end. But uh, it's good in the sense it really brings out uh, our fortitude for the job and uh, we are judged in the harshest of conditions and I'm sure we'll come out all the brighter and all the more hardened for the job ahead. Politics and a cup of coffee, a perfect blend to discuss with the people. What the people of Mysuru and Kodagu think about their candidates. What is their expectations? Let us have a small chai pacharcha with the people of Mysuru. Sir, you have two candidates from Mysuru. One is your Maharaja, uh, Yaduvir Krishnadatta Chamaraja Vadayar. And you also have Lakshman. Whom are you going to vote for? I definitely support Modi. Sir, either Kyawa hai, Mysuru me. ये डायरेक्टली राजा वर्सेस कॉमन मैन ये चुनाव लड़ रहा है अभी हम लोग पूरा क्या है हम लोग आम जनता है आम जनता को आम जनता का क्या दिक्कत है वो मालूम है इसीलिए हमको क्या इधर मैसूर में क्या है इस बार आम आदमी जीतना है डू यू थिंक इट इज अ बैटल ऑफ कॉमन मैन वर्सेस द किंग सर इन मेनी ओकेशंस यदुर हिमसेल्फ हैज टोल्ड there's nothing like a king. He himself has made public statements that he is not a king nor a Yuraja, all, all that is the past. So why are we trying to associate that? When he himself has said, don't call me Maharaja, don't call me Yuraja, it is we public who are calling him like that. Uh, Modi versus Siddharamaya or uh, Congress versus BJP in Mysore? In Mysore, uh, Siddharamaya versus Modi. What I can say in Mysore, Kodugu uh, MP election, See, Modi strategies will not work in the Mysore. Congress has already given a five uh, guarantee schemes and this will be help to uh, lower, uh, poor people, middle class people and they are using it. So definitely I think there is no discrimination which is being done by the centre to Karnataka. I think everybody understands the development that is going on across the state. I think it is just a false propaganda which has been put into people's mind to say that after the government change, money is not coming in. There is a system or the democracy where whatever the tax pays, money is there. It should be properly allocated based on the decision which has been taken from across the country. Modi is one era which is there, which is your following. So definitely I think his footsteps are very clear and his footsteps are uh, very clear that in the development of the country, development or anything. Okay, this is a blend of experience that you get here in Mysuru where people have mixed opinion, where one sort of people feel that Mysuru Raja will be a difference in Mysuru and many feel that he will not be as accessible as the previous MP. Vithi Rajan Smadhu, Sakai Raj, reporting for India Today from Mysuru.